In this video, we talk about DB2 offerings on the cloud. Though we encourage you to download DB2 Express C and try it out on your own computer, it is also available on the cloud. Let's start answering the question, what is cloud computing? Though there are several definitions for cloud computing, we will try to keep it simple. Cloud computing is computing on the cloud. What this means is that you can provision computing resources over the internet for public clouds or through your data center for private clouds. And you can do this on demand. In the same way that you can set up a Yahoo account or a Gmail account in minutes, you can now do this to provision computer resources. Cloud computing benefits include the ability to just pay as you go for what you need and for the amount of time required. In the same way you only pay for the amount of electricity or water you use at home, cloud computing allows you to just pay for the resources you use. For example, if on the last three days of the month you require more computer resources, then you can rent more servers for just those three days. Provisioning these extra resources and removing them only takes minutes, so it's very flexible. Cloud computing also implies almost a limited amount of computing resources. Companies offering cloud services have huge data centers and it is very likely you can rent as much computing resources as you need. DB2 has offerings on the cloud with Amazon Web Services, IBM Development and Test Cloud, IBM Cloudburst and IBM WebSphere Cloudburst Appliance, and RightScale. There are other videos providing demos for each of them in more detail. In this video, we only describe what each offering is and what is available. Let's start with Amazon Web Services, or AWS for short. With AWS, we have three DB2 deployment offerings. DB2 Express C Amazon Machine Images, or AMIs for short, for evaluation and development. You don't need to pay anything to IBM for using DB2 Express C but you do need to pay Amazon for renting the Amazon infrastructure. The second offering is pay-as-you-go, production-ready AMIs. This offering allows you to use DB2 Express or DB2 Workgroup in a production setting on the cloud. There is a cost for the DB2 licenses and the Amazon infrastructure. And the third option or offering is to create your own AMI using DB2 licenses that you own. If you want to create an AMI using DB2 Express C, you can also do that with no cost. You still need to pay Amazon for the infrastructure though. For more information, refer to ibm.com slash db2 slash cloud. Next is the IBM Development and Test Cloud or IBM Developer Cloud for short. The IBM Developer Cloud provides similar services as AWS, but it, its focus is on development and testing. There are three DB2 offerings. The first one is DB2 Express C Pay As You Go, where DB2 Express C is free, however, you need to pay for the infrastructure. Second offering is DB2 Enterprise Developer 32 bit Bring Your Own License. And the third offering is DB2 Enterprise Developer 64 bit Bring Your Own License. More information can be found at ibm.com slash cloud slash enterprise. Next is IBM Cloudburst and IBM WebSphere Cloudburst Appliance. IBM Cloudburst is an offering from IBM that allows companies to set up a private cloud. It includes hardware, software, and services. IBM WebSphere Cloudburst Appliance is a software dispenser. It complements well the IBM Cloudburst. For more information, refer to the link that is shown in this chart. Finally, let's talk briefly about RightScale. RightScale is a cloud management platform. It allows you to more easily administer, deploy, and control applications on the cloud. WriteScale provides server templates and scripts called write scripts that are published on their site and allow you to automate, clone, and repeat operations easily. For more information, refer to the link that is shown in this chart. 
This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching. To learn more, visit db2university.com.